Hey guys, I'm Ray. And I'm Jason. And in this video, we are going to be showing you our Battleborn battery system install. So we did decide to move forward with a Battleborn battery system. If you didn't watch our consultation video, you can watch that up here. I'll link it in the corner and in the description down below. But spoiler alert, we did decide to move forward, obviously. So that is what this week's video is going to be all about. So you guys might notice we're not actually in our RV. This week we booked a residence in by Marriott because they're puppy friendly. We used points with Marriott as well, so it didn't cost us a dime, which is great because we had to cash out our 401ks <laughs> to get this Battleborn system, but it's gonna be completely worth it. Absolutely. We're totally just <clears throat> kidding about that. <laughs> we actually did get to team up with Battleborn Batteries, Victron, and Sprad's RV, who is doing the install for us. We do still have some skin in the game. We are uh, purchasing this system, but we did not cash out our 401ks. Just wanted to clarify that. Yeah, so you might be wondering why we're not doing this install ourselves. And that's because I actually have to fly out this week, which was our only free week to get this done over the next couple of weeks. We have a bunch of summer engagements, mm -hmm. a couple of grand design rallies we have to head mm -hmm. to. And so we were gonna purchase the system and then we were thinking about it and we wouldn't have time for the next month or so. And so we didn't wanna just have it sitting in our RV. Yes. So luckily we called Sprads with Battleborn who recommended them and they were able to fit us in. I love it when things just align and that way you know you're doing the right thing when everything just falls into place. So everything worked out perfectly with Battleborn. After our consultation, we said we want to move forward. How quickly can we do this? And everyone's just been so accommodating. So we want to thank our partners so much for being so accommodating and getting this done with us and working around our super crazy summer schedule, but we appreciate it so much and we're so, so excited to show you this video and show you our install and hopefully give you a new perspective on getting an in a Battleborn battery install done uh, with an RV installer instead of doing it yourself. So since Jason mentioned before, he is flying out for his quarterly work trip while we're here. So you're just gonna be hanging with me this week. So I'm gonna take you to Battleborn. We gotta pick up the batteries tomorrow. We gotta drop them off at Sprides. And then I, you know, kind of want to show you everything that, that we've decided on in our system and go from there. So we're going to go get breakfast before I got to take him to the airport, but don't worry. I'll check in with you guys later. Good morning, guys. So I already got a call from Battleborn saying that all of our products were ready to go. I didn't even finish breakfast yet, so I wolfed down breakfast, I finished getting ready, and now I am swinging over to go pick up our products, pay, and take them over to Sprad's RV. So let's go.
right guys, so I just picked up all the product from Battleborn and dropped it off at Sprads. So they are going to get started today, which is really exciting. And then while I was at Sprads, they also gave me a tour of their lot and they have a ton of grand designs, which obviously is right up my alley. So we actually got to look through a couple, which was cool. And then I got to look through their training facility. So I found this really interesting, so I wanted to mention it. The way Sprads is set up is that they kept expanding, so they were getting like the buildings that were in the next lot over. So one of the buildings was actually a gas station. And so instead of just tearing that building down and making more room for more RVs, they ended up turning it into a training facility. So, um, you know, it's basically just a big room, but they have their projectors in there and a bunch of different uh, water filters and water pumps and they had some solar in there and also looked like they had some carpet and laminated flooring and that's where they train their new people and they also keep their current people up to date on everything and so they're also I forget the exact name. I'm going to have to ask and I'll put it down here. All of the technicians on the lot are certified. So they put additional funding every year into continuous education and continuous training. So I thought that was really cool. And it made me feel even more comfortable that our RV is there and that this installation is in very good hands. So I'm pretty excited about that. When I picked up the products, I did take some footage of each individual piece for you so I wanted to go over everything that is getting installed in our RV so let's go on to that we got six Battleborn 100 amp hour 12 volt batteries these have a 10 year warranty and are estimated to last between 3,000 to 5,000 cycles. They are 31 pounds each and are designed and assembled in the US. We got one battery guard that will automatically disconnect if it senses low voltage. We can override that feature if we want, but it also prevents battery drain during storage. We got two 300 amp fuse kits. These are safety devices that will provide overcurrent protection to our setup. We opted for two micro air soft starts after our consultation with Sean and Dennis, one for each of our ACs. We will have two Victron 3000 watt multi-plus inverter chargers, one for each leg of the rig. In my opinion, this is what makes our setup unique. Because we wanted to run everything and not have to split our legs on one inverter, we opted for two, which gives us 3000 watts per leg and will allow us to stay comfortable while we're out boondocking. The Color Control GX is our system control screen. This is where we'll be able to see live information about our batteries and our entire system. We'll be able to control all products connected to it. In addition to the color control, we also got the Victron BMV712 battery monitor with Bluetooth built in. This was big on Jason's list because of the Smart RV projects he's been implementing in our rig. We'll be able to manage and view this battery monitor from our phones. All right, so that's what we're getting in our RV this week. I'm very excited about everything and I'm so thankful that once again, we're able to be squeezed in and get this done because looking at all of the products and seeing everything in person today, for me, it was very daunting. Um, I know Jason probably would have looked at it as a fun challenge, however, I am just glad that it is getting done and it just takes so much stress away to not have to do these kind of installs for yourself. We are all about learning and doing it ourselves, as you've seen in some of our other videos, but this is something that I'm very thankful we are not doing ourselves. So I'm going to spend the rest of the afternoon actually working boo, I know, but I will continue to check in with you guys and give you an update on our install. Good 
morning guys. Today I'm gonna go pick up some treats and deliver them to Battleborn and Sprads. Let's go. Just dropped off the donuts for the Battleborn team. So hopefully they can go into a sugar coma. <laughs> and now we are off to Sprads. Dropped off the donuts. So now it is time for a little progress update on our install. Let's go. Over the past few days, Sprads RV has been working on installing our system and was kind enough to take progress pictures and videos for us. We requested our batteries be installed in some extra space that we had in our front storage compartment. To do this, Sprads had to rewire some of the wiring that we already had in there to create space. They then custom built a frame to secure the batteries and added a shock absorbing pad underneath. They then added the batteries and started adding the proper connections. All six batteries fit perfectly in the space. Next was to custom build a strong frame to mount the Victron MultiPlus inverter chargers to. They put the original wooden board over that and mounted them. Things are definitely starting to come together. They also installed the two Micro Air soft starts, and at this point, there's still a lot of wiring to be done and connections to be made. All right guys, so that is the update on our install. I am so very excited about the progress and to have this being done professionally. So basically the donuts were just a thank you because sweets are my love language. So when people are nice to you and they fit you in their schedules and they make things happen for you quickly, you give them sugar. Anyway, I hope that, uh, you know, they're just donuts, but I hope that the teams like it and, you know, they get a little afternoon sugar high. So now I am just out and about running some errands. I'm at the post office right now, dropping off a couple of packages. And as a side note, I am really enjoying my week here in Reno. The little lake that we have by our hotel has been so nice to walk Carmen every morning and evening and afternoon if she complains enough, which she does. <laughs> so it's just been a beautiful like backdrop to have every time I'm in the hotel. I didn't realize that there was a lot to offer in Reno. So definitely come out here because Reno is a great place to end up or a great stopping point, you know, between some of these major cities. Oh, and Virginia City is nearby as well. So that's another little area that we're hoping to be able to hit up, but I don't think we're going to get to this trip. So yeah, that's my two cents on Reno. I'm really enjoying it here. Jason does come back tomorrow, which is exciting. And then we're going to be able to pick up the RV and see the final product, which is even more exciting. So I'm just going to go finish up some of my errands and I'll check in with you guys later. Surprise. Surprise. Especially didn't think you'd see me again. <laughs> so Jason got back pretty late, um, but that is all fine because we are going to go pick up our RV. Yay. We're so excited to see the final product. Um, I've been getting sneak peeks when I go over there and I say hi to the guys and it's been a very um, exciting journey to watch but we are now completely packed up. We got our rack full of 
everything suitcases hard drives and everything like food. that you yeah, got yeah. food yeah we had to take everything out of our fridge so thankfully that was another perk to staying in a residence inn is that they have a full kitchen in these so we just literally moved it from one fridge to another and now we're doing it back so if you can't tell, Carmen is pretty excited, <laughs> ready to go. <laughs> so we are going to go see the final product and look at how the install went. Are you excited? Yeah, absolutely. Hey friends, Mark Magnac and Mike Holst here. We're Sprads RV. Uh, we're super excited today to talk to you about a new project that we did with the getaway couple. If you guys are RVers, which I'm sure most of you watching this video are, you know that everyone has power issues. So how do we maximize the power in an RV? So we were lucky enough to get to uh, partner with the getaway couple and Battleborn Batteries, and we installed six lithium ion phosphate batteries and two 3000 watt inverters into this coach to give them ultimate flexibility and usability from a power standpoint. I'll let Mike Colso explain the installation. All right. Well, we installed two 3000 watt inverters in split phase, running the entire 50 amp coach. Each inverter passes through 50 amps and makes 30 amps AC when inverting. Enough power to run the entire coach at any given time. Cool. All right. All right. With the inverters, we installed a color control panel shows a full operation and all specifications of the system while running. It also has an auxiliary battery control panel down here to monitor amperage and set battery capacities. So the system, as you can see, will run not only the entire coach and convenience outlets, but also the air conditioner at full power with only the batteries. Woohoo! It went on, just in case <laughs> you couldn't hear it. It went on. <laughs> cool. So now we got to learn all of the systems. <laughs> all right, guys. So that was our system setup. We are definitely going to be doing a little more in-depth explanation of everything that's happening and then we obviously want to test it out just a little bit and let you know how things are going yeah very happy with how everything just came together it's kind of perfect yes. and we're getting ready to head out on the road so it's perfect timing for us yeah so we're just out here in the front now waiting to hitch up with our truck um, because they do uh, maneuver the RVs with a forklift. So we're just gonna get the RV and hit the road. So we'll check in with you guys shortly. So it's been about two weeks since we last checked in with you. When we picked up our RV from Sprads, we actually drove to Indiana. So that was a 2,000 mile drive that we did in five days. And we will have a vlog about that as well in case you're interested in that crazy journey. Um, but it was a really good opportunity to test out our batteries and to test out the whole system. It did great. It was so convenient. It changed our travel style. We knew we could basically pull over anywhere. You know, we didn't have to find a place with hookups. We didn't 
you know, it was it just made that journey a lot easier than it would have been before we had this system installed. Yeah, definitely. I was able to work, you know, we were able to charge our laptops, charge everything we needed and didn't have to run a generator, anything. It was awesome. Yeah, it was fantastic. So we are excited to use our batteries a lot more this summer, really test them out um, on a good long boondocking trip. So we will definitely be doing a more thorough review once we test them out more. So we're thinking around the six month mark that will give us a good time frame to use them and abuse them and let you guys know how they're holding up. Yeah, so the final thing Sprads and Battleborn actually uh, came together with was to configure the Victron settings, which was awesome. I've since purchased a Victron uh, adapter, so now I can get in there and look at all the settings myself and see what they all do and how to best set them for us and our Battle Worn batteries. Um, the other thing that Sprads did was that they, they put a temporary panel up to mount the CCGX and the battery monitor, which is which is awesome. Uh, we told them to not even do that, to just put them up in that cabinet, and they went. They they said they couldn't do that. They went above and beyond <laughs> to at least make it look uh, presentable. And we took on the project since we're here in Indiana of getting the matching wood, and so we're going to build a a matching uh, face to that yes. cabinet. Yes, so that was very nice of them. And we realized after we started driving that that was the smarter decision because having the control panels just you know, left in there with extra wire, with extra slack, wouldn't have probably been as good as the temporary panel they built us. So thankfully, we, as Jason said, we already got the wood from Gray and Design. We just wanted it to match exactly, which is why, of course, we added in that extra caveat. The next topic we wanted to briefly cover was cost. So a lot of you asked what a cost for this type of system would be in our consultation video with Sean and Dennis. So the easiest way to answer that is to actually just direct you to Battleborn's website. It's really laid out well. It's easy to navigate. And so you really can just build out your whole system that you want and add it to your cart. And then in your cart, you can see what these different items cost or you know make up your whole system just have fun with it and add everything to your cart and that will give you an idea of where you should be standing if you have any questions or you don't know what a system should look like for you Battleborn is always there for you you can give them a call shoot them an email and they'll work with you to talk about your concerns or your usage and build out a system for you, depending if you're a full-timer or a weekender. So that is the best way to look at cost and how it would relate to you and your system. Our second biggest question asked on our consultation video was what about solar? Uh, at we initially didn't install any. Uh, we planned on using our generator and charging up our batteries and that has worked just fine. However, <laughs> our next big project is going to be solar and we'll be working on that in a later video because I want it so bad. <laughs> yes, we knew eventually we'd be going to solar and we briefly mentioned that with our consultation with them. We just knew that we wouldn't be doing both of these huge installs at once because it was um, a cost that we needed to break up for ourselves. So solar is next. We also wanted to take this opportunity to thank Battleborn Batteries, Sprads RV, and Victron Energy one more time. Uh, we are just so happy with the system so far. We are so thankful for Sprads fitting us in and doing this professional install for us. And we're very thankful for Battleborn, you know, putting all of this together and getting everything in place for us and guiding us through every step of the way from what we would need to run our this huge 50 amp rig. So this whole experience has been awesome and we are extremely grateful for our partners in this. Other than that, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Again, always feel free to reach out to Battleborn directly. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to join our getaway gang. We'll see you next time. Bye, Bye guys. guys.
I have to show you this before I start talking. <laughs> I picked up everything from Battleborn. <laughs> I also, while I was there, got a tour of the, um, can you, what's wrong? So I picked up all of the products from Battleborn and dropped them off at Sprads and say hi to people that we met earlier from our consultation. And so we're just up here in the front now waiting to hitch up. Whoa. <laughs> Salt Lake's just not my connecting location. No. Spent a lot of time there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So. Uh-oh. Is it time to go? Answer. Huh? <laughs> oh. Yep, we're loading out our car now. Alright, bye. Are they kicking us out? Get out now. 